I, I think it's um, that there's no way around it. There's no, there's no escaping it. I don't know how to not make art. And I think that's true of most artists, actually. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think it's true. I remember making art that no one cared about, and I just made it. And then I remember at one point, um, actually after I met her, and these very dark, very black and white, somber paintings turn to color. And it's, you get to a crisis where you wonder if you're lost and you're just making these things for no reason, I suppose. I mean, I, I've been there, um, but I think I was wrong. And we do inform each other, I think. The way we look at our surroundings, I mean, quite often he's standing up and looking up and around and I'm crawling through some brush you know, on my hands and knees, but it fits together. Where we live informs our art. I paint things, very often don't know what I'm going to paint when I start. I just start moving paint around. And, and very often, all of a sudden, I realize what I'm painting and why, and why that place matters. It is about deciding what matters. Uh, um, my painting, her drawing, her printmaking, it, it's all about deciding what matters and, and why. And that's why we can't not do it. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, there's no choice. Mm -hmm.